we are here today just outside of Christiana in cool Manchester. We're in the hills right now. Yes, yeah, man. Beautiful oh, place, yeah. you know. So um, we were, you know, invited down to, to visit this farm. So tell them, what is your name? Yeah. Yeah, Let them, tell them about yourself. All right, you know, I'm the Mario, but most people know me and, you know, me as yes. Farm on the Hill. Farm on the Hill and yeah. TikTok. And TikTok right? and Instagram, just the same. Well, to be honest, you know, I'm, a certified chef but okay. i don't know something about livestock and crop agriculture in general, general you know, yes. that grasp my attention and you know that's really where this love and the passion start Income. for agriculture good you know? good 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 yeah so you we are now on a approximately five acre Lot right here. It's, yeah. a, it's a family property, yeah, basically, yeah. right? So yeah. you grew up. You grew up here in the area. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay. So you here. so you grew up and you saw farming, mm -hmm. but basically you, you wanted to take it to to a different level. That's it. Tell us That's about it. that. Tell us about that. I mean, that. you know, as I said, stated early on, um, while growing up, I had a, I had um pig pen. Mm -hmm. I saw one and two cows and property just the same. Yes. Goat. Maybe I got my first goat, maybe about one grade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one grade, yeah. Saint Probably Elizabeth. around six yeah. year old. So yeah, yeah. You, six, start, you start young, eh? Yeah, but um, even, even though I have had that goat yeah. at that particular time, you know, my grandfather is the one who usually take care of it. I just have it to no, say I have a goat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but um, as time goes by, you know, like I see where this thing the, 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 the passion, the love for it grow yeah. more and more. So I said, oh, okay, all right, why not go into it? And I said, I'm just if I'm going to go into it, I'm going to go into it as in with my two Full foot speed. In. Yeah. yeah. So that's... A business. Yeah, a business. You Make, know? Do, do Even though it's, done. for me, it's, I mean, leisure or pleasure for me, <laughs> but, you know, it's business just the same. Yeah. Yeah. Slow down, hold on, take a breath. All right, so Mario here, he has, um, as you call it, um, he, he has genetics. Or you yeah, tell me what you call it. Um, I mean, it's just genetics, you know? Yes. Um, goat genetics, mm. where Nubians are, and boars are concerned. So you supply those to the market? That's it, that's yeah, it. Man. And I also have graded as well. So for persons who don't want to go full blood or purebred, mm -hmm. I have graded animals okay. as well. That's what does it. graded mean? Um, it's a mixture Mix. of both genetics. Okay, so oh. what's the benefit? So why a person would want to go straight, um, straight breed? They, they, they would want to mix it. Why? 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 Yeah. I mean, financial reason. It's cheaper. Um, it's cheaper. Oh, in terms uh, of purchasing. In terms of purchasing. Oh, okay. We are um sometimes the purebred and full blood are a little bit more Defensive. harder to handle. Oh, okay. As in, you have to pay more attention to them. Okay. So, yeah. That's it. Automatically, they might go get used to that time. So, oh. for example, whenever I let them graze, mm -hmm. I don't normally, um, what I say, I don't, I don't go for them. As in, five o'clock come, they come in by themselves. Mm -hmm. If I let them for graze at a time hot during the day, at a specific time, they come for water. Oh. If no water not in the pen, you are going to know, they might go make no nice. Yeah, if they uncomfortable, like the paint on clean, the man go make nice just the same. Mm -hmm. So anything what you do, like farm a routine, and you 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 half with that routine, they are gonna because the man go the man go give you a signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
they yeah. are very sociable yeah. animals. So once you see goats, them, them like traveling herd. Yeah. And if you have a herd and then you see one specific goat not tagging along, tagging along with that herd, then you know, you know something might wrong. Yeah. So you check on that um, goat just the same. Yeah. All right, if you notice, most of the animals inside the pen now, but mm -hmm. we have two that leave outside. Okay. The reason for that, this, yeah, the reason for that, this morning we fence the pen. But as I said, they don't like, they, they stick to a particular route. So if they traverse this route, mm. that's the route they're going to always okay. traverse. So okay. The moment you block that route, you'll find that we kind of get confused. To confusion. Okay. So that's, that's it. The problem well. So basically, they are, they are animals of routine. Yeah. Routine. Okay. So earlier you mentioned also in terms of um, if, they, if, you leave, if you let them out at a particular time mm. and you bring them in at a particular time, mm. They adapt to that. Yes. And then, so it's like you don't have to lead them anymore. No, you don't have to lead them anymore. Once, once you um, open the gates, mm -hmm. you know, that's it. Yeah. You know, they would know what time to go out, what time to come in, what time to come and drink water. You know. Okay. Um, if there is one hole in, in a fence, and uh, they're gonna always find that specific hole. Mm -hmm. Once you see them can't find that hole, them sometimes them go back at the same spot, even yeah. though they can't. They don't have access to that hole again. Okay. So they are very um, a intelligent. Good memory. Yeah. So, so you were saying that they are feeding now on this um, water tree. Yeah, water man tree. Water, water man tree. tree. Why do you feed them on this? I mean, all right. This is a thing that plenty of people don't know again. Mm -hmm specific plants specific grass bring more crude protein oh and if you um with the goats mm -hmm. like they're gonna need protein and most grass doesn't have sufficient protein okay. for, for um that specific animal so you would have to you know come and know then you have to sometimes have to substitute the grass uh, with grains and stuff oh, okay. in order for them to get you know protein so mm -hmm. this waterman tree here it has a very high level of food protein, so that's the reason why I mix it mm -hmm. with, um, in my... And, and they like it? Very they much, like it very too. much, very okay. much. So this, this is the one that I tell you, the kid, mm -hmm. can always come oh. and touch. Oh. Okay. She's very thin. Okay. Oh. She's very thin. So he's eating something out of this yeah, now, grain. Yes. So, okay. so giving them grains is also a good way to feed Substitute. them. Substitute. I mean... I'm, I'm, I'm the type of farmer who always, I don't like to stick to one specific mm -hmm. food. They can I, make I change it up, you know, just like you, you don't want to eat um, chicken every day. Yeah. So I always change up my stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like it's, it's the age of yeah. in my water yeah. ago. Yeah. in my water ago. Yeah. What um, Kyrie wanted to do, yeah. but not all goats are like that. Kyrie would just die to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make him bait. <laughs> So this is a tame one. Well, um, we have a few tame ones, you know. Uh, whenever we are feeding, they, they they go crazy for it, you know, like the grains. Yeah, the grains. Like yeah. So you feed them grains as well as the the other plants. Yes, grains, okay. grass, forage. If we are fruits, yeah, we, we we give them just shrubs, anything that they eat. Okay. Vegetables, anything that they eat, we, we, we just give them those options. Okay. And I noticed that you, you have um you have leaves in other compartments, you also have water in other compartments, so wherever they are here, they can always feed. Yeah, I try to let them, you know, be as comfortable as possible yeah. because when they are comfortable, <laughs> that's the time you see the growth rate in them, they, they grow rapidly they don't get sick so i mean it's just the way to let them be be comfortable as much as possible so let me let me ask you now you're a relatively young person and we've been saying this a few times on our channel mm -hmm. why are you into agriculture all right um if 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 i if i should state it um as it is uh growing up Mm -hmm. I grew in, I, I always, uh, my yard always have animals, like... This is a family thing? Yeah, it's a family thing. And even, well, 
I'm the one who let it become this big. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's like they used to just have a one or two goats. One or two goats. Around. Just, yeah. And they, you probably kill it slaughter. I, I grow up, I grow up, come see a, a pig pen. Mm -hmm. And no, no pig one wasn't in size. And oh, I okay. just said, okay, let I'm me just. literally just walk with <laughs> <in> yeah. <laughs> the legs of this thing. Yeah, let me just utilize it. But I mean, separate and apart from that, it's something that I love. I love. I, I mean, I'm the type of person who loves nature, so mm -hmm. anything that has to do with nature, I'm that type of person. Like, okay. mm -hmm. you know, I like even with the um, crop production part, I like to watch things grow. Yes. Okay. So that's 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 me. So, do you find yourself diversifying somewhat from what they would have sown you before mm -hmm. and make it chart in a new path? You know, mm -hmm. doing something different and seeing better results, experimenting. Yeah, uh, yeah, I would say yes because guess what. I mean, the world is evolving and mm -hmm. once the world not going to be stagnant, so it has always going to be like, it's going to be better and better. So, I mean, back then my four parents, maybe they usually use just um, herbs yeah. to, to, to treat certain mm -hmm. sickness or, you know, mm -hmm. in animals. No, we have injection and those stuff. Those stuff, I would say, let things um solve problem easier easier mm -hmm. so i mean why not like that's just for me i would say i believe in the young generation so i, I would all i i'm gonna cheer for them and say yeah. that's the way yeah. you know okay. I'm, but I'm, i mean like your roots though there are certain things that you you, you just can't bypass so basically you're improving yeah. on what yeah, yeah, your four yeah. parents would have done. There are the, the, the certain foundation that you can't just, yeah. you, you can't neglect those. All right, yeah. so question. All right, so mm -hmm. your father's around as well. Yeah, man. And he's the one that you, you basically learn from. So where, where do you garner the well, knowledge well, for, for the farm? All right. You know, hmm. to be honest, I wouldn't say learn from, but you know, the family, as I said, the family is that type. Like we... We, 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 we solve things together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We solve things together. So maybe Good he, team. yeah, it's a team thing. Like it's not an indi individual thing. So mm -hmm. if I'm not, if I'm not here, they will know what to do. Okay. Or sometimes they have an issue and they call me and I said, okay, all right, here, what? do this and do that. Sometimes they will say, why not do this? Why not do that? So, I mean, it's a team. It's, 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 it's where we, as I said before, we solve stuff together. So that's pretty much it. And I think that's what makes it work that effective for us as well. Slow down, hold on, take a breath. If I could, I make me feel less. Something in my brain causes stress. You know, in our parents' days, we saw, and in, even in, in our grandparents' days, we saw a lot of persons moving away from agriculture, away from farming, coming into the cities, um, becoming, you know, other things. Industrialized, I mean, I mean, yeah? I mean, all right. If, if, if you're going to ask me that question, for me personally, you know, um, as I said, it's perspective. People start to look at every single thing different now. So, um, but then you usually hear like, once you hear about a farmer, mm -hmm. more than likely it's someone wearing water boots, dirty mm -hmm. clothes, <laughs> or you know, like some persons who, um, I would say not educated that mm -hmm. much, mm -hmm. drop out of school and stuff. But I mean, persons are seeing, well, younger generation now are seeing where, hey, you know, farming, it, 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 it can be so so much mm -hmm. different opportunities from that um i mean so i guess as i said it's just perspection and perspective should say where people look at it at different angles and i remember we did a video before adrian mm -hmm. we were on the farm um with um with Ledra. okay yeah and i remember somebody commenting in the saying in the comment section you know oh, Basically, they were kind of offended about the perspective that was given. But it's not as if it's a picture that is being painted. It's something that is a concept that has been, has been sold in the yeah. past. Because and he mentioned it too. By a lot of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's not something that is being painted right now. It's something that has been painted long, mm -hmm. long ago. Um, and the perception is changing. What we are noticing though is that information 
is reaching the masses a lot faster than before. Yes. So in our in our four parent it days, has to be like that. Upon has, it has to be like that because remember, you know, if the world is evolving, mm -hmm. information gonna be easier to find. Yeah. Right now, you have more kids reading um, at a grade six level, but the kids. Mm -hmm. The kid is in grade one, yeah. so you know. I mean, they're smarter. They're smarter, they and I mean, the, the media, internet, internet is the key thing. Where anything at all you need to find out, you can do it on the internet. You don't have to ask um, him or she or the old lady. Just by even think, mm -hmm. thinking about it, algorithm mm -hmm. gonna let you find certain yes, stuff. So I mean, know. it's it's much more easier information. It's. It's so, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And, so. and we have, we have a friendly little boat between us. Yeah. <laughs> we call her Tamas. 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 Tamas want our water, so come for our water. Yeah. All right. But, um, so, would you say that you're finding success in your little niche area right there? I would say yes. And even, even if, even if it's, it is not as much I want. I still feel pleased because I said it's not sometimes it's not really about the money you know but Ooh. you know as I said <laughs> I like to I, I like to see stuff um come from scratch so mm -hmm. but, yeah. but it's but it's, it's also about growth as you mentioned before. Yeah. So I mean where you are now I think is a really big achievement. Mm -hmm. I because, would say, uh, and then, and what you're doing right now mm -hmm. is something that a lot of people have thought about. Yes, like even myself. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, I would say many people would like want to venture mm -hmm. in this part. But guess what? Mm -hmm. Maybe financial um, issues. How uh, hard it is. To how start. hard? Well, if you're gonna do it for business, as you said, you're gonna need. Capital. You're gonna need capital. You're gonna you're, you're gonna need re mm -hmm. review. Um, with with if you I'm um, gonna rear like goats and cows and stuff. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're gonna need space, especially yeah. if you're okay. in um in the in the urban area. Mm -hmm. You got if you're not if you have a tight space, you're still gonna need um we are gonna get like forage and those stuff from. You mm -hmm. understand? So mm -hmm. sometimes it's just about the, the, you have to weigh those stuff like the pros and the cons to those type of stuff where do you get your information from like if somebody wants to find out about animals mm -hmm. um how to rear animals how to get them healthy like where where do, where do people even start with a concept like this i mean as i said everything is there on the internet go and research every single thing like hey team what's the problem you know come <laughs> and <she> kind of <laughs> heavy <laughs> any uh, i mean like for me personally i have i have i have friends i have a specific friend mm -hmm. that we we we, we um fireside genetics mm -hmm. big up yourself anyhow um we, we talk almost every day about good so mm -hmm. yeah, um, some, a, yeah a i mean person sometime maybe i have an experience um on my farm mm -hmm. that he had a, a similar one yeah so he can always say that, you mm -hmm. know when this happened this is what i do or if i had that experience it's it's, it's the same okay yeah so all right so <laughs> what what <laughs> yeah what i'd like to know okay so typically when I go to, to a farm that has goats, you know, in the, in the rural area, small farms, mm -hmm. the goats are always just in the yard. Mm -hmm. Lego. Just, just around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yeah. goat, them they are there, you know, probably the, the farmer will bring the goat out in the day, mm -hmm. in the morning, and then bring them back in the evening. I let them out and them go and then mm -hmm. come back. But they, they don't have a house like what we are in now. Mm -hmm. So, what is the importance of a goat house? All right. Um, you have so many points as, as it relates to a goat house. Mm -hmm. I mean, first and foremost, you, you, you want to keep your animal prote protective, like, mm -hmm. you know, you want to protect your animal. So protection is um, one main thing. You know, prey their larceny is a big thing mm -hmm. in, in Jamaica. Yeah. Okay. You, you, you don't want a specific person just to have easy access okay. um, to your animals. Um, also, you have to think about um, stray dogs and those stuff oh, as well okay. you don't want you know so oh the, the dogs can't come can't come understand. in that easily can't. that was that thing that's so, great yes that's that's one um 
as it relates to the animal health as well. Mm -hmm. the, 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 um, the shed or the house or the pen, whatever you want to call it, that mm -hmm. plays an important role because, you know, with a poor house, then your animal going to be at risk um, for disease and those stuff. So, mm -hmm. I mean, a proper house eliminate most of those um, factors. Yes. Okay. So basically, the, the health and protection of the animal is mm -hmm. better than when you have a house. Yes. If, if you're going to have your animal mm -hmm. outside just like that, um, now, as you can see, it it's looks like it's going to rain. Yeah. When you have, have your animal outside, Rain gonna come on your animal, mm -hmm. right? The day was hot, mm -hmm. so that sudden gonna give the animal a shock. Shock, okay. That oh. that gonna give your animal cold, just like you. It make them cooler as well. Cool, cooler. Yeah. You, you and a more steady temperature. You know, they yes. don't ex get exposed to the, the elements. The, yes. Okay. Uh, the harsh elements, mm -hmm. as I said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, with 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 you don't even if they're gonna be outside, they don't mm -hmm. wanna go. You don't wanna have your goats or your goat. Um. They, 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 they defecating, they urinating. And right, they, where they're sleeping. Where they're sleeping. Mm -hmm. um, plenty of people don't know this. Mm -hmm. in, in, I would say, all urine. Mm -hmm. There is a, um, a, what should I say? Uh, ammonia. A, like, um, element uh, that is yeah. Yeah, inside called ammonia. Yeah. That is very, very dangerous mm -hmm. for the goat. So if you have an animal urinating, sleeping back, and it's a cycle that, you know, that's post a uh, um, respiratory mm -hmm. problem on your animals and you, you don't want to have that you don't want to have your animal have pneumonia mm -hmm. you know oh, that some sick. yes and <laughs> pneumonia that mean quick death mm -hmm. and you don't want to have that currently so we are about what probably six seven feet yeah off the ground mm -hmm. literally yeah yeah so i mean the the, the feet is whatever drop down Mm -hmm. Don't beneath us. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it, it's a good separation yeah. between the, them and you know the, the yeah. what's down below and, and and us up here. You know, and so the, and you good. have you have spaces in between the board. Yes, yeah, so not like a flat surface. Yeah, so even if the um the stool can easily pass through these slats. Yes, yeah. you understand. Okay. So even when we're cleaning, mm -hmm. we just mm -hmm. come and even we sweep, just sweep, sweep and, and it go just through. drop through. So often yeah. you're clean? Every single day, maybe two times per day or so three times. always this clean? Yeah, always this clean. Wow, always, always, yes. wow. This is great, I must say. Um, I think that this is very, this is a, a very, very modern way to have goats. I've never seen a goat house before, so it's a good, <laughs> it's a good thing. But what about the veterinarian services? Do you incorporate that into your farm? Yeah, I mean, once, once, once you're going to be in, in animal, rearing you, you, you're gonna have to some way somehow you're gonna <laughs> you know need a vet put that in in in, in mm -hmm. inside your your, your, your whole mm -hmm. casting and everything because there are some i would say some even though you can administer certain medication mm -hmm. you won't able to get it without a um, veterinarian mm -hmm. prescription right so they right. had um they have to prescribe it so basically yeah they have to be so even if you can do it okay yeah you can do a um <coughs> intramuscular injection um mm -hmm. injection but have it have to approve you know it. approve it or prescribe mm -hmm. that medicine that you're gonna use mm -hmm. so some way somehow you're gonna need them okay. and i mean remember you know you're just a farmer i'm not not gonna say farmer shouldn't know certain stuff but mm -hmm. The vet plays a vital role yeah. in that as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. All right, so I want you to tell me, uh, in terms of the composition of your farm, the, the type of goats you have, mm -hmm. I want you to tell us um, how you determine what type of ruminant you call them, what, yes, what species. Smart, yeah, Ru um, ruminant is just the general mm -hmm. um, name for grazing, grazers, grazing uh, animals, sheep and those right, food right, right. and uh, Yes. Ruminants. But All right. So I want you to tell us the different type of animals, different type of goats you have, and and your, and your rationale why you use, why you choose those type. You know. Okay. All right. Um. As I said, I, I mainly use boars and Nubians. Mm -hmm. For for the milk aspect of it, I would go for the Nubian. Milk. For milk. As I'm as milk farming. Yeah. Um. So if I have like. Specific persons gonna need specific goats. Mm -hmm. So these these are graded Nubians, but we have purebred Nubian right here. 
they generate a lot more milk than the boar. They they um they don't have the the weight of um they don't have that big body, but they have way more milk than the boar. Um, as it relates, Where, who's the, show me the boar. The boar. The these are the boar. The, okay. This this type is the boar. So, so this is mainly for what meat? Yeah, meat purpose. Okay. Um, I mean specific person's gonna um, choose them for genetical purpose as well like you know if if you want to go into genetics you're gonna choose a proper purebred um, or full blood boar purebred Nubian so that's basically it so this one we call him Champs he's okay. a pure, um, full blood boar he's pretty young so mm -hmm. yeah he's like um, I would say just one year old now Mm -hmm. So, so you yeah, we have a so, um, maybe a son or a daughter on the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have um, here. This is the purebred Nubian. Okay. Mm -hmm. Female. Meal. Meal. Yeah. Oh, so you have a purebred male um, and a purebred female. I have purebred um, boar. Boar, as well in the in the in the female type. This is a um, purebred uh, Nubian. Okay. Oh, and yeah. he's, he's taller. Yeah, he's as you can see, he's taller, but um, doesn't have the wide the body. Like uh -huh. Yeah. So as oh. I said, they, they are built specifically for milk. Milk. Yeah. So, so you do so you do milk farming as I do, well I do, as I, I don't do it no, but I, I do it for persons who want to go into it. So oh, I so you provide the for genetics oh, you're for those type of. But persons. you give them the you give them the, the um the kid when they the breed, kid. so they can know. Do, if they're gonna do milk production, they can do that. And as you can see, milk, um, goat milk thing, it's at, it's you know, it's, it's rising, it's in rising, yeah, outside, rising in in, in, in Jamaica now. I, I want to give them away in the car sometimes. They want to move around. Yeah. I actually saw the goat, goat milk in the supermarket. I always hear what it is and the nicest milk ever. Never yeah. taste it yet. The cheese is pretty thing. much nice as well. Oh, you you've had goat cheese? Yeah, so? yeah, yeah. Okay. That's yeah. something that I notice is definitely rising in the supermarket. Yogurt. I mean, the the line, the 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 the, the goat line just you it's know, expanding. Expanding. So, so the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. You have soap as well. Um, the other day I saw somebody oh. doing um, goat burger. Mm -hmm. So I mean, as I said, the sky is the limit. So let me ask you. So, um. Your farming, what's your, your main um, reason? To provide the genetics. To provide genetics. So that's yeah. your, that's yeah. your oh, farming that's it, for the genetics. It. It's not to provide meat. No. It's not, it's not or, to provide the milk. meat, just to say, for, for a slaughterhouse. Because, okay. um, you know, um, the purebred and full blood animal, they are much more expensive. Mm, so, can imagine. you know. You're not gonna want to just mm -hmm. um, buy an expensive animal just to go and slaughter. Oh, okay. So it's more. It's more of the genetic. So you're breeding basically, so that you can supply other farmers mm -hmm. with purebred animals that yes. they can use for their purposes. That's so for it. For those who are bored for um, meat purposes, mm -hmm. they have that. And for those who want milk, they have that. I'm looking forward to getting purebred Jamaican goat milk. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. I've always wanted to. Jamaican goat milk, Jamaican um, cheese, as I said, um, yogurt, um, skin product. You yes. know, it's it's very yes. good. It's a it's a very good um, skin product. So um, sometimes we've seen persons where, where they actually do artificial insemination. Mm -hmm. Of mm -hmm. the animals, do yes. you do that here, or do you allow them to naturally procreate? I, I would, I would say naturally procreate. One, um, not every time. It's a very good thing. Mm -hmm. AI is a very good thing. But when you when you have um, a buck on your yeah. farm, you know, once you have the buck, more than likely, um, the dog gonna get pregnant. When you do an artificial, it's yeah, it's a not. When you do an AI, mm -hmm. it, it's not a must. Oh. You understand? So most persons who are doing it mm -hmm. normally do like I would say anywhere from five to ten animals. Mm -hmm. So even if ten of them don't connect at least three, four, you know, so that's how they normally do it. But when you have your one ram, mm -hmm. if you go to, go into heat 
um, doesn't get pregnant, you still have that ram mm -hmm. the next 21 days. Yeah. And that animal will go back into heat after, um, within the next 21 days. I know that you have cows as well. Yeah. Thank you. Um, is that an area that you're interested in? You're going to know, you're testing the water that you're just, you're just, no, you're just getting I, started. I, to be honest, I, I'm not, I'm not a, a fanatic of that, the, the cow mm -hmm. part, mm -hmm. but I mean, I just, you know, I just have them to say, yeah, yeah. Experimenting. The grass is here, so. Why not? Why not? Right. You know, one thing I noticed? Mm -hmm. They eat nothing. <laughs> they eat enough, but guess what? Because Anything you see fall on the ground, mm -hmm. they not eat it again. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's a good um, yeah. different mechanism that yeah. them, them get all once, wired with. Once them, once them, once it touch the ground, they not. No. Wow. That's that's awesome. Never yeah. knew that. Never knew yeah. that at all. If their feces come yeah. to get sick, then yeah. they won't. They're not they eating nothing from out of the ground. Right. So most persons we think that the, the goats will primarily or only eat grass. No you know? man, no, no. Alright. These we call them water chin chin or chinaman. Okay, chin. okay. Some people call it donkey piece. Some people so different different name, but this is a is a um forage high in protein. Okay. Mm. So Whenever the grass doesn't have enough sufficient protein, yes. I use this okay. yeah. to just bulk it up. Yeah. All right. Um, I know a lot of farmers use what they call king grass. This big bulky grass. Yes. Yeah, man. I or, have king grass as well. Uh -huh. um, I have um, king grass. I have napa grass. I have um, guinea grass as well. Okay. But those. Um, as I said, whenever I use those, I use something that is high in protein. So, you know, them. Yeah. they use them along with Yes. Being in the hills of Manchester, you have a lot of rainfall. Yes, I would say it just depends on um, the, the season. The season? Yeah. Because, I mean, it's raining now. It's raining now. <laughs> and, you know, the good thing we, I know is... getting the rain for the past, I would say, three days. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I and realize so they have guttering around mm -hmm. we and, and a catchment as well. So yes. that That's where I was going. we don't make no 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 we are up here. No, so no, yes. You understand? So I mean we're always we don't know when what we're gonna have water shortage. So yeah. why not you know store it from now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so so you said that um you are in the hills here now, so sometimes it's difficult for, for the regular um water supply to get pumped up yes, on the hill. Yes. So when you do your own catchment, mm -hmm. yeah. you're more secure that of way. Of course, you know, and the goats drink water every single day. Uh -huh. um, you have to clean and maintain the, the, the bucket, the pans, you know, okay. so right. you need you're going to need the water. Yeah. Talk to me. Where are right. they? So, if let's say you buy an animal, right? And the person tells you, say, Oh, your animal is one year old. But really and truly, you want to know if the animal are like four or five years old. You can't, you're not because you simply look at the animal teeth. So, if you notice, you have like one, one set of big teeth. As in, when I said one set, I mean, they are a pair. Uh -huh. So, each year goes by, the animal will come. Get an extra, extra pair yeah. from the outside. So, if you notice, these are much smaller. Yeah. So, when the animal reach like, I would say, two, then you're going to have two more big teeth beside. Oh, so this is like, what age is this animal one. right now? This is a one-year-old. Yeah. One. So, you see, the, basically, one big teeth right here. Yeah. And then the others around it, them, yes. them small, they're not really yeah. Yeah. farm yet. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So, you can know that. Okay. Yeah. All right, Mario, so um, what word would you have? What positive word? What encouragement would you have a person out there who are young, old, just thinking about getting back into farming and finding it very discouraging or dismayed, you know, about how to even get started or to get information, is it possible, is it profitable? What encouragement do you have? I mean, for me, my answer would be just a simple one. Yeah. I would say just start. The moment you start, yeah. you're gonna 
If you buy an animal, you're gonna, it, it's going to intrigue you to yeah. get the information. If you don't start, you're going to contemplate it. But just start. Mm. The, inf the information is going to always be there. And, and, I and, 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 and many people out there are going to be willing to share information. So, I mean, just start. That's and it. That's what I was about to say. One of the points that I think you really touched on that was very significant to me mm -hmm. is that you have persons you actually talk to. Yeah. Who are in the space. You share your ideas, your ideas, your experience, they share theirs. So just get into the, just dive into it that you're saying. Mm -hmm. Know people, get to know people, talk to persons, and then soon or later you get into, you know, all those nice habits or information yeah. that mm -hmm. you have about you know, finding out the key and to know. Yeah, I mean, it's, it would be wise for you to research yeah. because remember you are investing now. Mm -hmm. So whichever area you are investing, it's, it's going to be wise for you to research. Yeah. So you research, then start. The information is going to come naturally. Yeah. Naturally it's going to come. You're, you're gonna, if you are investing in an animal right now, or whichever field you are investing, you are going to find out, you are going to start watching more stuff that closer to home. Yeah. So. I mean, you're not going to invest in goats and just start, to, um, start watching car videos. You're going to start watching goat videos yeah. or animal videos. Yeah. So, I mean, you learn, you know, learn, yeah, you're yeah. going to learn. So that's what I would say. Just start. Do you do like tagging? Like tagging after animals? Like giving them a physical tag right. to say this is mine? Let, let, all right. When I just started out, I, I used to tag every single animal. But because I let them graze, mm -hmm. sometimes they push their head through the fence mm -hmm. and whenever for they trying to take it out it tear tear the oh. ear so if you look if you, if you can see mm -hmm. a tag goes here and so it tear, it tear um there's another one with the, with the ear splitting split too. that's a tag as well mm -hmm. this one have a if you um on the other side there's a hole a tag as well mm -hmm. most of them most of my animals i used to tag them but you know, for that I never realized, purpose. I never I realized don't. how goat's ears were shaped. All them ears are shaped like this. Um, the 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 leafy the leafy yeah, one. Yeah, they, they, they are they are the, the that's how that's how you, you 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 can. Um, I mean, their ears the, the ears are very sensitive, you know. So that's the reason why you see so many veins in it. Yeah. But, you can also know an animal type by their ears as well. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> this yeah. this um Rami, I'm surprised that he's so young. That's not. And a, that's, he's that's oh, oh, oh him over there. So yeah. I'm surprised that he's so he's so big and he's so young. Yeah. You know. And that's and 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 that's because of genetics. Genetics. Yeah. Yeah, as you were mentioning before. Yeah. So it does allow them to graze out in the open. But you have fence, you mentioned it earlier, it does, you fence off the areas, so you allow them to just graze in yeah. this area that you fenced off and then you let the grass grow on the other side until yeah. when you're ready. So we call that um, rotational grazing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we, we, we let them graze here like for maybe three, four days and then you rest this specific area and move them to a next section. Mm -hmm. So that's what I, I really do. So, you, so do you do you double a bit in? You said you double a bit in um, growing crops. Yeah, I, I do um, sweet pepper. Mm -hmm. I do sweet pepper, but um, well, I had a set up set up sweet pepper for one year, mm -hmm. and because it's hybrid, mm -hmm. it, it takes longer to die. So we just put them up from over there, and then we start. Um, making preparation for the the land again to replant no oh, okay. mario yes man yeah man respect man for the reason you know yeah and um, it's a pleasure having you guys here it's just the same you know yeah man it's, it's a refreshing drive coming out it's good to see youngsters like yourself yeah. getting involved in stuff like this you know um this day and age but them talk about big teeth and you know them that things is that it's promoted, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, almost yeah. highlighted, you know. Yeah. yeah. So it's good that you're doing something positive for, for for the country and for yourself as well. True. You true. know, and you're you're 
you're showing people that there are different ways to to make a good living you know that's yeah. it you know and I, I mean i know plenty more persons out there mm -hmm. doing the same like what i'm doing are yes. not um let's not say in agriculture but right. just doing positive stuff that mm -hmm. hasn't been or haven't been highlighted. highlighted so yes. you know it's a pleasure having you guys here yeah, you man. know most definitely showing showcasing um what i'm doing so. right so y'all can reach out to to mario um farm on the hill instagram yeah. yes tiktok yeah man. right the delphine family is also on tiktok and, and instagram YouTube. and youtube of yeah. course you have yeah. a youtube channel too yeah no i don't have the youtube okay okay yeah all right yeah man so you can um follow the delphine family as well and, and as an as well on tiktok you can also follow me um adrian delphine on tiktok as well thank you all for for watching this video if you did find this interesting do hit the like button share as well with persons that you think would be interested yeah respect man yeah man bless all you. the best yeah you know, and guys subscribe <laughs> yeah to of course of channel course. as well respect that's man. it yep close to you mario um and thank you for having the Delphi family here remember to subscribe if you haven't already, already definitely turn on your post notification bell the setting on all oh and persons have been seen when they see us that i haven't been seeing the videos what's been going on we don't post we are not on a break it just means that you're probably you need to look at your notification icon because probably it's turned off even if you turn it on before sometimes tuggle it. yeah tag it toggle. sometimes toggle toggle sorry <laughs> toggle it okay <laughs> sometimes youtube have a thing where it just kind of messes with some of those features in the accounts so ensure that if you're watching the Delphi family and not seeing us that you go on our page um check on that icon turn it on and off just to make sure that you're getting our notifications all right i should say off then on again yes off then on yes yeah. mm -hmm. what adrian said all yeah man all right, all right guys so we out peace, peace guys <laughs> all right mm -hmm.